I'm gonna tell you about one of the best Valentine's dates I ever had. A few years back, money was kind of tight, so my husband and I talked about keeping Valentine's Day really low key. But then I had an idea. So I told him I would take him out. So Valentine's Day arrives and I tell him, honey, you need to put on a suit. And then he sees me grab an old fancy dress from the closet and I can see in his eyes what he's thinking. Um, what is my wife doing? We just talked about the fact that we don't have money to go to some fancy restaurant. And so we get in the car and I drive him to his favorite, favorite, favorite fast food joint. And we park the car and he's kind of looking confused, kind of laughing, he thinks I'm kidding. I grab him by the hand and we walk in and there, right in the center of the restaurant, is a nice table set up with a tablecloth and linen napkins and champagne glasses and a flower centerpiece. And he is completely surprised and can't stop laughing. And of course I talked to the management a few days before to make sure they were fine with me setting all this up. So then our waiter arrives. I had asked a good friend of ours if he would play the part of our waiter and he came dressed up like he worked at a fancy restaurant. He even put on a fake mustache, which was hilarious. And every time he would walk over to the table, he would change his accent. So he went from like a French waiter to an Italian waiter. And he was also able to answer important questions like, is the fish fresh tonight? Oh yes, it was just defrosted this morning. So he took our order and then he walked five feet to the counter to place the order and five feet back to deliver our food. And when he brought over the lemonade, he first poured a tiny bit into my husband's champagne glass so that he could smell it and taste it, make sure it wasn't corked. It was such a fun night. We laughed through the entire evening. And once we were done with our meal, our waiter brought our check in a nice booklet. It was by far the most memorable Valentine's Day we ever had, but also the cheapest. Our dinner ended up costing us less than $12. Plus, we got a senior discount and saved $1.15 because our waiter, was a senior. So listen all you lovebirds, you don't need to be rich to have a fancy romantic Valentine's Day. All you need is a little creativity and a friend with a fake mustache.